we take a look here as stepping in, this is going to be Ludwig. Takes a ball inside. Two and one to count now with one down. Runners at first and third here for the Hornets. Jadeberg, the pitcher. There's a swing and a foul ball. Kennedy Brigham doing the catching here as usual here for the Norseman. There's a call strike. Runner will head down to second base with two down. That's going to bring up Razik. Could be Rizik, too, for that matter. Probably is. There's a strike right down the middle. A run is in for RC here as we pick up on the ball game. A little bit high on that count, so that will even things out here. Berg gets herself ready, and here she comes. This is a pop-up, and it's going to be a catch here. Easton Grass calling that one all the way for out number three. But a run comes across here. For the Hornets, they'll get that run. They'll leave two on base. We'll come back with the bottom half of inning number one in just a moment's time. Kennedy Brigham will step in. Catcher to lead things off here for the Norsemen as they trail 1-0. Glad to have everyone on board. And now Brigham is down at first. That is going to bring up Olivia Nedlin. Here goes Brigham down and she'll slide in safely at second base as Nedlin takes a strike. Kenzie Stellner to follow. Hannah Nelson in the cleanup spot tonight. That's a little bit low. Ground ball, third base. The throw is not in time. And the runner will head on down to second. She was safe. She beat out that throw for an infield single. I'll tell you what, that is just pure hustle right there. Brigham winds up at third as the wind really picking up here now all of a sudden. Well, we kind of thought that all along. Ground ball, to right side. That'll score a run as the throw comes over to home, but it's not in time. And now runner looking to head down to second base again, and she'll pick up the base. That is Kenzie Stoner. She gets a fielder's choice, but also get the RBI. One, one, your score. Nobody out here. Bunt down the first base side. This is a good one. This will be an infield single. And again, she'll head down to second base, Will Berg. 
And now they're going to get Berg in the rundown. Nope, they're going to get the slide home. She's safe. Well, the Norseman on the way to getting some things done here. All right, check that. Uh, Hannah. That was Hannah Nelson. I thought it was Jada Berg for a second, but an infield bunt single. Three runs now into this uh, half of the inning. Bottom half, here is Whitney Hansen now. Whitney stepping in, right-handed batter. Takes one a little bit high for a ball. Maddie Comey to follow. There's the ball. That'll be upstairs. Two and one now. Three and one, the count goes. Boy, that wind is really whipping through here. Of course, uh, we're in the concession stand area. Hansen gets a walk. Runners at first and second for the Norsemen with nobody out. Opening pitch here to Maddie Comey is in tight up around the chin. She backs away. That pitch slides away, and the runners will move up a spot. Comey with an opportunity here. Will take the walk. That loads the bases for Kylie Mulladall. Easton Grass is on deck, Kaylee Kerner. Abby Lease today is the flex. Three one your score. Just a little bit outside on that offering. Checked her swing, that was upstairs. Good decision on Kylie's part to hold back on that one. There's a strike. Little fly ball towards the left side is going to go foul out of play there. And the count goes full here to Mullendahl. Easton Grass on deck. Called strike three. One down, base is still loaded here for Easton Grass. Of 
Grass takes one low, and the ball is past the catcher and sliding in with the run is Hannah Nelson. Runners move up a spot, second and third here now. Grass still with a shot here at an RBI or two. That ball gets away again. Here comes a run, and she'll slide in safely. Whitney Hansen getting across. Another pass ball here. Meanwhile, Kome moves up to third base as well. Grass. Sitting on a 2-0 count. Let's see if she goes after this offering. It's upstairs, not able to swing at that one. It's 3-0. Darlene is, uh, I think, is it Darlene? I think that's what it is. There's a strike for the automatic. Is doing the pitching. Catching here today is... McGlynn. Here's a shot right back up the middle for a base hit. And Grass will get an RBI on a nice hit up the gut. Well, she sat back and drove that one right back up the middle like you hope. Here comes Kaylee Kerner now. Kerner pops this one up. Darlene able to make the grab. And there's two down. Back to the top of the order here again with Brigan. As the Norsemen have run things through here with a whole bunch of runs. Only a couple of hits in the inning. Hit Bassman. A lot of Base on balls here as Darling looks to try and find the strike zone. Here's a shot up the middle and another base hit. Well, I tell you what, uh, right on top of that one, Easton Grass and Kennedy Brigham. Back to back hits with two down. I shouldn't say back-to-back, -back, but two out of three. That runs inside to uh, Olivia Nedlin. Getting past McGlynn, and everyone goes up. They say everyone in Brigham and Grass moving up a spot. A little bit low, maybe outside. Three no the count now. And she's got the red light, I believe. That one bounces away and no advancement here. Walk to Nedlin. And here's Kenzie Stellner. Well, watch out for Stellner here. She's got a little pop in the bat. She could uh, unload on one here. Swing and a miss. Had a good cut. Darlene's next offering is outside for a ball and it's even at one apiece. Pop this one up on the hands. It's gonna be caught by the third baseman. And that'll finish off the inning here for the Norsemen. But boy, I tell you what, they pick up a number of runs here. They pick up six. And uh, they get those. Well, let's take a look here if we can 
count quick enough here. They get one, two, three, four hits in the inning. There was also three walks and a hit batsman that helped their cause a little bit, and they just kept things rolling along in the bottom of the first. Six nothing, your score, Norseman. Well, my apologies going out if I had said Jada Berg pitching-wise. Uh, it's actually Maddie Comey doing the pitching here today. I think I just automatically might have even said Jada Berg. So my apologies there as Maddie's on the mound. And uh, she did a nice job in that first inning. She did give up one run, but here we are in the uh, second. And we are at the 789 part of the order here for Richland Center, which means uh, Ludwig, number 13. Rizek on deck. She is the designated player today. Komi is set. Here she comes with a couple strikes. So come back her right to her, and she gets the job done with a quick toss over to Grass. And there's one down. Boy, that was a quick shot there, but she was ready for it. Here's uh, Rezek, the designated player. McGlynn is the on-deck person, the catcher. And then they'll go back to the top of the order with Meaden. Swing and a miss. Two and one the count now. With one out, Kome toes the rubber, and here she comes. There's a foul ball. Out of play here. Swing and a miss, they'll tag her out. We're in the top of the second here. Here's McGlynn now. Takes one high, backing her up just a little. Top of the order on deck. Fly ball, that's going to be in for a base hit out to right field. A nice piece of hitting there by McGlynn. She'll pick up the single. And here's your left handed hitter in Meaden, the shortstop. Runner on, as you can see. First offering is going to sail outside. Here's a one hopper, they'll flip over to second base for the cover, and that'll take care of the inning as Meaden 
hits into the fielder's choice. Well, no runs on one hit and one runner left on base. We'll come back with the uh, bottom half of inning number two. It's still 6-1. Westby with the lead. Well, here we go with the bottom half of the second. It's going to be a pop-up, and it's going to be dropped out there in center field. Starting things off, that was Hannah Nelson. And we're probably going to have to put that one down as an air. Hit the glove of the center fielder. All right. Now they're ready here with Whitney Hansen stepping in. Offer there and scooting down to second base will be Nelson. Norseman up 6-1 here as they had a big first inning. There's a swing and a miss. And there is strike three as Hansen goes down swinging. One away, here is Matty Comey, the pitcher. That's down low in the dirt. And all of a sudden it's three and one here to Comey. And she'll earn a walk. Runners at first and second here now. And we're gonna get, I believe, a courtesy runner. I believe is gonna come in, it is. And uh, let's see, this will be number 15 and Natalie Miller coming in to courtesy run here. So runners at first and second. Foul ball will go 0-1 to Kylie Mulladal. There's a strike. And all of a sudden it's no two count. Kylie struck out looking back in the first. And there's another one. Two down for Easton Grass with Runner in scoring position. She hit a real nice shot back up the middle for a single. Picking up an RBI back in the first inning. Takes one high. That one's in the dirt and everyone's gonna move up a base now. Hannah Nelson finds herself at third base, Comey the runner in Miller at second. Two down, as a high fastball. There's your automatic. Three and one now to Grass, the first baseman. Yeah. 
Takes that one outside. The ball gets away, but no advancement there. Grass with the walk. Here comes Kaylee Kerner now. I'll probably get another courtesy runner here, it looks like. Never mind, they say. <clears throat> well, let's take a look here. This is number five in Emma Salverson. That's high again, up over the head of Salverson, and it's 3-0, just that quick. There's your strike. Darling was able to drop that one in a little bit. Kennedy Brigham on deck. That'll be upstairs. So the walk will bring a run across here. And here's Kennedy Brigham. Takes one high. Well, you couldn't ask for a nicer day when it comes to softball, baseball action around the area. That's upstairs, and being a Wednesday, you don't usually do this, but uh, they started here at 345 today. Here's a pop-up, shortstop dropping back, and she'll make the grab to end the inning. Well, one comes across as Brigham pops up. Norseman get one run on, let's see, I don't think there were any hits. There was an error in the inning. There was not. There were uh, three walks in the inning and an error. And that's how they're able to pick up a run here in the bottom of the second. We'll move to the top of the third, and it's 7-1 Westby. Well, the Hornets here are going to bring up in the third inning, Knee, Darling, and Gander. Comey starts knee off with a strike. Knee playing third base today. Just missed inside. There's a shot right back up the middle, and knee is on with a single. I tell you what, she timed that one well. And as you say, you can go back up the middle, you know you're on top of that pitch. And she was. Nobody out, one on. Here's Darling, the picture. Darling will take the first offering upstairs. Ground ball, second base. They'll flip and they'll get the out just in time. Boy, a nice little backhand flip there by the uh, second baseman and Whitney Hansen. That was a heads up kind of play. 
I thought she was going to go to first when she had the ball drop in front of her. But it's going to be a 4-6 put out. Get the lead runner off the base path. This is a pop-up shortstop will make the grab out there in Olivia Nedlin. And there's two down. Nedlin calling for that one right away. It's going to bring up Stauffer now. Stauffer is at second base. That first offering was high and away. Second one, hard shot, third base, bobble. The throw is not going to be in time. It's over the head of grass. And moving up a base here was a knee all the way over to third. Or check that. I shouldn't say knee. Knee was taken off the base path earlier. Uh, that was Darling. Well, an E5. Another ground ball. Kerner picks, throws right on target this time to get the out. Well, no runs coming across here on one hit and two runners left on base. We'll take a little break ourselves here once again. As the Norsemen, well, when they come up to bat, we will see uh, the 2 3 4 part of the order coming up here. That'll be coming up shortly in the bottom of the third. Olivia Nedlin will step into the batter's box here to face Darling once again. Nedlin with a base hit and a walk already here as we're in the bottom of the third. Takes the ball inside. Called strike on the outside part of the plate. Good pitch there by Darling. 7-1 your score here. In the dirt. Early start here today due to the Wednesday ball game. We don't see too many of those. And the hopes, of course, of trying to be done before 5.30. Called strike. Two and two now. Downstairs. Full count here to Olivia Nedlin. Shortstop today. Little pop up and this is going to be caught. Down here by Knee. And she tried to just punch that one over the head of Knee but couldn't quite get enough on it, so it's a little pop-up, and there's one down. Well, stepping in with Couple of balls now. This is Kenzie Stellner. Hard chopper foul, third base side. Called strike. Good offering right there by Darling. Right at the knees on the outside part of the zone. Followed that one right back towards us. No, 
That'll be upstairs. Stellner has worked the count full now. Swing and a miss. That one riding in tight, and she could not catch up to it. Two down. Here's Hannah Nelson. Ground ball back up the middle. That'll be a single. She'll make the turn. Whitney Hansen now will try to move Nelson around, and she'll take the first pitch downstairs. <laughs> Outside, 2-0. and oh. Here's a little fly ball. It is going to be caught out there in center field. A nice little range out there. Coming from uh, Ludwig. She was able to track it down for out number three. Well, no runs on one hit and one runner left on base. The Norsemen stay out in front here by a score of 7-1. to one. We'll go to the fourth inning. And in the fourth, the Hornets will bring up the 79 part of the order. Lud Ludwig will start things off after that nice catch out there in center field. Ludwig stepping in from the right side once again. One for three here. Or she, excuse me, she grounded one three back in the second inning. Here's a high fly ball out towards center field, backing up and oh boy, making the grab out there. Was uh, that was uh, Nelson out there? Looked like she had it zeroed in, and then all of a sudden the ball just kind of kept going. Ludwig put a little zip on it, but there's going to be one away. Here's Razik. or Rizik, swing and a foul ball. That'll be a strike. Comey zeroed in on that one. That'll be high. And the count goes to one and two. Nice job by Brigham knocking that down. Nobody on base, but stay in good habits, stay in good form. Ground ball, Kumi with the pick and a quick toss for out number two. One three on the put out. Over to grass it goes. Here's McGlynn, now the catcher. Chop that one foul underneath. Yeah. 
Here's a ground ball. Hansen underhand flip to get the out. And it winds up a 1-2-3 inning here after the 4-3 put out. No runs, no hits, nobody left on base. Norseman coming up to bat here in the bottom of the fourth. They have that 7-1 lead. Comey steps in to face Darling. And a swing and a foul ball. Comey, Mullendahl, and Grass. Your first three hitters here. That ball pushed Comey off the base, off from home plate. That one nearly clipped her. That'll be high. Two and one now. There's a strike. Pop this one up. It's going to be down to the ground here. Just trying a good try over here by the catcher, McGlynn. She needed another full step, though. That's never easy, popping the headgear off and trying to locate that ball, getting out of the out of the crouch. Here's a shot back up the middle. Comey with the base rip. Courtesy runner once again is going to be Natalie Miller. Mulladell will try again here. Strike. She's going to be safe. They're going to call time. I think the, uh, he was wondering if, do you have to slide on the play? But they're going to call her safe. Always uh, good to whatever the whatever the question was. Nothing wrong with doing that. You want to get it right. That's a soft line drive that's going to be caught here by Knee. And there's one down. That one coming off the bat of Mullendahl. One out. Here's Easton Grass. Grass with a base hit and a walk. Takes one high. Fouled that one underneath right off the end of the bat. Swing and a miss. Grass way out in front on that one. Got fooled just a touch. Here's a shot out to center field, and it's going to be caught. Throw coming on. Now it's going to get by the third baseman, and now the runner can move up in Miller. Well, two down here, and Kaylee Kerner with a chance here. Oh, check that. 
They are going to put Jada Berg in here now. Berg to hit. Swing and a miss on the first offering. Here's a high fly ball out to center field. It's going to be caught, though, just shy of the warning track as Berg tried to put a charge into it, but kind of tough with that wind a little bit here. And it's going to be no runs on one hit and one runner left on base, stranded over there at third. We're going to move to the uh, fourth inning here now, make it the top of the fifth. It's 7-1 Westby. Well, back we come here, and it's going to be for Rich and Center, the top of the order. This is Meaden. Two and one to count now. Make it three and one. Now the count's full. And that's fouled back. Another foul ball, same spot. Well, we'll see what uh, happens here. As Comey and Meaden battle with the 3-2 count. That's fouled back. That's fouled off again. Comey checks the sign and here she comes. Ground ball, picked up, flipped over to first for the out.
There's a fly ball. That's going to drop in for a base hit. Well, Meaden out 4-3, but Nee comes right back for her second hit of the ball game. This time over to right. And here's an opposite field hit. That's going to get through all the way to the fence. Heading over here to third and a throw coming in. And a big double here. Well, I tell you what, that was a nice hit. That coming off the bat of Darling. The ground ball foul. That's fouled back at us. A fly ball left field coming on making the grab and the throw coming in this is oh this is close but uh, not able to hang on to it was Brigham and a good try there boy that was a dandy throw but it will wind up going down as a sack fly here So F7. Here's Stauffer now. As a run does come across in knee, there's also now the runner had moved down to third base. That's a foul ball. <laughs> Throw over to first is going to be in time for uh, out number three, five three on the put out. We'll take a little break. A run does come across here for the Hornets. They get that run on, uh, let's see, what did they get it on? They got it on two hits and they'll leave a runner left on base. We'll take a little break and come back here, moving into the bottom of the fifth. For the Norsemen here in the bottom of the fifth inning, there's a base hit right back up the middle. About three feet away from the shortstop here in Meaden. That was Kennedy Brigham. Two for three for Brigham now. A little chopper foul underneath by Nedlin. She will make that defense work here with her running bunt hitting uh, style. And I tell you what, she's pretty good at it, especially with her speed. That gets away from 
Darling, and oh, look at this. Brigham all the way over to third. Well, you just can't coach hustle like that. That was something else. She just kept right on trucking. Now Westby looking to try and get that run back here. There's a swing and a miss. Two and two now. There's a little chopper out front. They'll turn the throw. Not in time. She had that beat out. That's going to go down as an infield single. Now they're going to try and catch her in the run down. Here comes the throw home. They're going to get Brigham all the way over to third. And now they're going to catch. She never got to the bag. Well, they outran themselves on that one with the speed. <laughs> that will happen once in a while. Nedlin. Trying to get all the way over. She got the base hit. We're going to get an out, first out, and then out number two as they get the out going back to second. I think that was a five, I want to say a five uh, four put out at second base. I'm not sure if it was a four. Two or a 6-2 put out at home. I want to say four, but the way they were kind of rotating there a little bit, but I could be off on that. 3-0 the count here now to Kenzie Stellner with nobody on. And two down. Well, what looked to be a promising inning, now they got to work for it again, do the Norseman. Stoner takes that one high, and she'll get the walk. That pitch was way upstairs. That's underneath the catcher and Stoner will stand at second base when everything is said and done. Swing and a miss there. Nelson went after that one. It was down low, and it's two and two. <laughs> now three and two. Nelson, the center fielder, she scored a couple of runs already tonight. She's two for three. Pop this one up. It's going to be... I think caught over there. It was right on the fence. Boy, that was uh, Knee doing a nice job battling the fence. But she does come away with the catch. Pop, pop out here to the third baseman once again. Well, no runs coming across here for the Norsemen. They have uh, one hit in the inning, and they'll leave a runner on base. Back with more here in a moment's time. Shannon steps in to bat here now, facing Komei once again. Left fielder takes an opening strike. That'll be outside. Throwback gets away from everybody. Well, Nelson will come in and toss the ball back to Comey. Well, 
High chopper off the glove. That'll be an infield single here. Off the glove of uh, Comey. Here's a fly ball, this is gonna be trouble. Bounces in, the throw to second is gonna be in time to get the out. Ludwig put that one out there and uh, boy, I tell you what, Shannon had to wait though because when you stop and look, uh, Kenzie Stoner was heading that way and she actually played it pretty well on the bounce to be honest. 7-4 on the put out, one down. And we got a pinch hitter in now. I think this is uh, number 21 in McCorkle, I believe. That's who it is. The pitch behind her. Kome drops behind 1-0. Comes right back, oh, a nice catch. And she's just gonna hang on to it. She was like, I'm just happy I caught that. McCorko with a line shot. Back to Kome for out number two. Oh, let's see, out number two, yes. High fly ball, left field side, and it's gonna be fouled down in the corner. She definitely got around on that one. Another fly ball going back and can't make the grab on that one as it was heading towards the corner again, but it's a fair ball and a run comes in. Well, the Hornets not going away here and McGlynn powered one in the left corner for an RBI double. It's now 7-3. Seven, seven, There's your strike. Back to the top of the order here with Meaden. That'll be upstairs. One one to count here. Well, tomorrow night I will be in, uh, let's see, I will wind up in Cashton. Dan Grass will be here, Westby, with another home softball game. That'll be a regular start time of 5 o'clock, by the way. Both baseball in Cashin and softball here. At least I've not been told of anything different. Not that I remember, anyways. High, high fly ball out towards right field and getting underneath that to make the grab. Let's see, that. Uh, who was that out there in uh, right field? It might have been Abby Lease, I believe, yes. Abby Lease making a nice grab to end the inning as Meaden flies out deep. 
to right field. Well, the uh, Hornets able to come up with another run. They get that run on a big hit. They actually had two hits in the inning, and they'll leave a runner stranded on base. Back with more here. We move to the sixth, and the Norsemen will bring up the five, six, seven part of the order. Well, stepping in for the Norseman, Whitney Hansen. Whitney today is 0 for 2 with a walk and a run scored. That all back in the first inning. Ground ball into the mitt of knee. The throw is in time. She has done a real nice job out there at uh, third base, knee has. One down here is Maddie Comey, and she swings on the first offering, coming up empty. That one snuck inside, it's one and one. Here's a shot back up the middle. Comey is on first base. And we'll get a courtesy runner again for her. Miller coming back in. Here's Mullendahl now. Heading down to second, sliding in. Miller went head first. And a runner is in scoring position. That'll be high. Friday night, weather permitting, be in uh, Viroqua. Big match up there now between the Blackhawks and the West Salem Panthers. Here's a ground ball looking to try and go back up the middle. Nice scoop by Meaden. The throw is going to be in time. They got her. Boy, that was a nice play there by Meaden. Two down. Here's Easton Grass with an opportunity to, well, get an insurance run in. Here, and we're bottom of the sixth. Takes that one low and away. Here's a line drive. It's bobbled, drop, picked up, and throw on the mark here for out number three. Six three again on the put out. Grass hit it hard. Well, no runs here on one hit and one runner left on base. I'll be stranded over there uh, at third. We'll take a little break and come back with the top of the seventh inning. The Hornets will need four and then hope for some defense. Stepping in for the Hornets, it's going to be Knee, Darling, and Gander. Swing and a miss. Shot right back at uh, Comey, and she makes the snag. My goodness. That is the second time in the game that's happened to her. You got to have some reaction out there, don't you? 44 feet away, it doesn't take long for that ball to get back to you. Oh. 
Darling stepping in, the pitcher takes the first one high. Swing and a miss. That one tailing away from her. Wow, just missed inside. Pop this one up, Grass has room and has the catch. There's two down. Here's Gander now. Actually, this might be a... Uh, see if we have a pinch hitter here, but I think this is Gander. It is. Hard shot foul, third base side. She got around on that one. and one now as that ball was upstairs. That's high. Just above the letters. And the count goes to three and one with two down. Nobody on here for the Hornets. They need four runs here. Keep the game going. That's a fly ball, could be trouble coming over and that'll be a one hopper. Oh, keeping the inning alive here was Gander with the base hit. Stuffer now stepping in. Stuffer today. On with an air, that was back in the third inning. And grounded 5-3. This one, ooh, off the shoulder. That's going to go down as a base hit. Right off the arm or shoulder area. Almost like where the clavicle is there, but Komei. Comes right back, she fires a strike. Checked her swing, but it was in there for a strike, and now Comey is out in front. 0-2 on Shannon. Pop this one up and Brigand, oh, can't quite get it underneath here. Good try. Oh 
And that's downstairs. Here's an offering, a ground ball, picked up the throw. High, but in time to get the out, and that will be the ball game. Coming up with the 6-3 uh, put out. Well, let's take a look at the scoring here in the innings for the Norsemen. They pick up, well, let's go back with Richardson Center. They pick up a run in the first inning, a run here in the fifth, and a run in the sixth for their three runs. Meanwhile, the Norsemen pick up six runs in their bottom half of the first, another run in the second, and that's all they needed as they made things stand up with a 7-3 win here and a non-conference tilt between the Richland Center Hornets as they come to town, and that was a very good ball game uh, here today. The Hornets playing tough, and uh, tell you what, they got some good players out there, and uh, watch out for them. They can make some noise with uh, just, you know, they're just they're just going tough with things. That's all I can say. Congratulations to them. It was a fun ball game to do. Well, we certainly hope that you've enjoyed watching this Western Wisconsin video production of Westby Norseman softball action. Again, they pick up the win, 7-3, non-conference victory over the Richland Center Hornets. Tomorrow night, right back here again. It'll be a conference matchup. I'm not 100%, it might be, uh, might be Arcadia. I just cannot remember. Uh, but uh, that'll be back here. Could be Black River Falls, could be GET. We got all kinds of uh, potential games going on here, right? <laughs> I just uh, failed to take a peek at my schedule before I left, but uh, it'll be back here, five o'clock start tomorrow night. I'll be in Cashton for baseball action, and uh, that'll be it. We uh, hope you enjoyed today's broadcast, and we'll see you tomorrow night somewhere on the diamond, whether it's here in Westby or in Cashton. Have a great evening, everyone. So long for now.